Good morning, you guys. I am shaking. I think I need to put the camera down. So this morning, I am t 10 DPO. So we have been trying for baby number three. And I just got this weird feeling this morning. I was like, you know what? I should get up and take a test, which I had agreed to myself <laughs> that I was not going to take a test until 12 DPO because with my first two, Nothing has ever shown until 12 DPO. And oh my gosh, you guys, like I think it might be positive. I'm looking at it right here and I see a second line. And it's pretty dark for 10 DPO. I'm trying to hold it still, I'll get it with the camera in just a second. But I have a bunch of these on hand because I've been taking a pregnancy test line progression video for you guys so i'm gonna use one of these and i'm like shaking because i did not think i would be pregnant this month so last month i thought for sure i was pregnant and i'm gonna dip this and i turns out i wasn't and I was recording all my symptoms because I wanted to make a video on my first pregnancy symptoms. And when I tell you they were, I here's the test I just took. Can you see that? So if you're not like a pro at reading pregnancy test lines, there is a line right there. Any type of faint line means you are pregnant. So I just took this one. It's going to take a minute. Oh my gosh. I'm like shaking because I was just not expecting to be pregnant. Like I told you my, last month, my symptoms were so much like my pregnancies. I was shocked that I wasn't pregnant and it was a huge letdown for me. Um, so this month I went into it with like very low expectations, not expecting to get pregnant this month, but like trying anyways, of course. And I just didn't feel like I was pregnant. The I've had a couple of symptoms and I'll share with that that with you in another video, but one of my main ones being like just a little bit tired, but I have been so thirsty. So thirsty and that's usually one of my main symptoms. And of course I'm looking at it like before it's supposed to be looked at, but <sighs> I am shaking. I would be so excited if we were pregnant. I feel like I don't know. So I'm just going to continue on doing my makeup and getting ready for the day because mom life, the kids are still asleep and I need to take advantage of this time. Um, I need to tell you the feelings that I'm having. I'm having two specific feelings. One, so happy, <laughs> so happy and feeling relieved and just praying for this baby and thanking the Lord. And my other one is I'm not exactly sure how to name the feeling, but I am feeling a little bit. So my best friend deals with infertility and I'm saying this on here because nobody knows who she is. So it's not like you could go look her up or anything, but she's been my best friend for like almost 10 years and she deals with infertility. And we have talked about before how I should tell her if I'm pregnant. She said that she wants me to FaceTime her because she wants to give me like the biggest virtual hug and then she wants to be left alone for a minute to process and all I can think about is her um, and I know she's going to be so excited because that's just the type of friend she is and she's just such a kind soul but that's what I'm thinking about right now oh and I'm just smearing this literally everywhere if any of you out there watching this and you're like I'm dealing with infertility I'm so sorry and I know that this video might be triggering for you and I would encourage you to click out of it and save your mental health because that's more important than you finding out that I'm pregnant. But this is a life-changing moment for me and I want it on camera. If you guys want to see me finding out I'm pregnant with our second baby, I'll leave that video below. I also have her birth vlog and like tons of pregnancy stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm gonna look and I think my second one is waking up, so, oh my gosh. It's a blazing positive. <sighs> Thank you, God. 
Oh my gosh, I'm like shaking. This explains why I was like randomly crying the other day. <laughs> and I don't really feel like crying now, but I do feel really excited and shaky <laughs> because I'm going to tell my friend, but um, I feel really excited. Like what a blessing. <sighs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Holy cow. Lord, I pray for a sticky baby. I pray for a baby that just keeps getting bigger and is genetically sound and that you are knitting perfectly in my womb, Lord. I pray for an easy and healthy pregnancy for baby and mommy. And I pray for an easy and healthy labor and delivery and recovery for baby and mom and everybody else involved. Lord, thank you. Thank you, God. I pray. I pray, Lord, that this baby is healthy. Praise you, God. Praise you. And now I feel like I'm going to cry because sometimes I feel like who am I of all people? Okay, I gotta be quick because I have a baby who's waking up, but sometimes I feel like of all people, why do I deserve to be pregnant? Um, and that's not like a self-hatred thing at all. I just feel like I am no one except through the Lord. And I know he loves me and I mess up daily. And his grace is just so good for me. Like, it's just so abundant. And it's abundant for you, too. But sometimes with that, I'm like, wow, I mess up literally on the daily. And you're still giving me the blessing of a child. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. <sighs> now to go get my kids who are waking up. Let me show you the test real quick. So here's that pre-mom or easy at home mom, definite line. Look at that glaring first response. Like you don't even have to squint to see it. Thank you, Lord. Well, hello, you guys. I was editing this video and realized I never really did like an outro or anything like that. So I thought while I was giving you an outro, I'd kind of just tell you where I'm at. That's why I've been disappeared from social media for so long. And it's not because it was a big secret. Um, we told pretty much everybody in our life like by week five. I have been so sick. I feel like I'm finally maybe starting to come out of that. I don't really know. Maybe I should do like a first trimester recap. This has by far been the hardest pregnancy I have had. This is my third pregnancy, third baby. I knew I was going to have food aversions and nausea just like I did with the first two. My first two pregnancies were almost identical even though they say pregnancies are all different. My first two were almost identical. It was insane and I was having a girl and a boy. So anyways, this one has been very difficult. I've been very sick. Even looking at my phone made me dizzy and want to vomit. It was a good reminder to slow down and thank God. Thank God that I have an amazing husband because that's the only reason anybody's been surviving. I have pretty much been like dead to the world because I've been sleeping or throwing up. I can't make food. I can't like it's, it's been a huge adjustment. I love homemaking. I love doing all those things. I love making meals for my family and keeping a clean home and doing fun activities with the kids. And man, this has been very difficult for me. That's where I've been. I've been incredibly sick. I finally feel like I'm starting to come out of that a little bit. I'm about 10 weeks, right? or I am 10 weeks right now. When I was about five or six weeks, I got food poisoning. And when I was 36 weeks pregnant with our second, I got the stomach flu and I was vomiting all the time. And I have never been in so much pain in my life than that. This was just as bad. I actually, this is a trigger warning, so uh, if you wanna click out, but I thought I might have been having a miscarriage because I was having contractions while I had this food poisoning at five weeks. I kept checking for blood, nothing was happening, but I was very shocked that I wasn't losing. I felt like in my gut I knew I wasn't losing the baby, but it, I've been through labor two times now and I know what it feels like. And I was like, this might be it. This might be it because I'm vomiting. I can't keep anything down. I was in, this is probably, I, 
Actually, the pain that I was in from the food poisoning was probably the most pain I think I've ever been in. Even that stomach flu was not as bad. Even part of my labor <laughs> was not as bad as this. I, it was awful. I forgot to almost mention too, I have two things with the pregnancy so far. So I have been checked by ultrasound. I haven't seen an OB or a midwife yet, which is so odd to me. Usually I've already had like two appointments by now when I gave birth to my first two. This time I haven't had any appointments yet except for a dating ultrasound where they found a subchorionic hemorrhage, which I guess they don't usually find them unless you're like just super early. Some people can have them later into pregnancy. They don't think mine's a big deal, but I think it's been causing some abdominal pain that I've been having. Basically the subchorionic hemorrhage from what I'm understanding is basically where the baby sac and my uterus have detached. Sometimes it's where the placenta and the uterus have detached, but when they took this dating scan, my placenta wasn't even formed yet. Like a baby's placenta, whatever. And so basically it's detached and that's where a bruise has formed or a hemorrhage, bleeding. I have not had any bleeding otherwise. So I was very shocked to learn that and really had to talk to God about it. And I was like, just give me like surreal, un unreal peace. Like that peace that you can only get from the Lord if this baby's okay. And he did, he gave that to me almost literally immediately after that prayer. So I haven't had like a, another ultrasound. They found that at about eight weeks. I haven't even been back in yet. So I don't think they think it's a big deal. Come on, I'm right here. The other thing is that I did a urine test. I thought it was going to be like to check pregnancy, like to confirm, cause they have to do that at like your first appointment. They actually said that I have group B strep, which I'm not shocked about. I had that with my first two as well, but they said they had it, I had it in my urine, which she said, there's nothing you can do about that. Some people just carry that flora. I already knew that I had carried that flora. They put me on antibiotics and I was like, why? She said, it's basically when they find it in your urine, it's like a UTI as well. So try and kick it out with the antibiotics now. And then she said, sometimes it even works for birth to where like when they swab me at 36 weeks, hi, I may not have it anymore. Maybe these antibiotics will kick it out. I kind of highly doubt that, but we'll see since we're still early. So we're still in the first trimester. I'm doing so-so. I guess that was my first trimester recap. This is so the third baby. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I want to announce on social media. I actually thought about like literally just showing up with a baby one day. <laughs> I do love pregnancy and I think it's so fun. She's asking for a snack. Anyway, so I barely got the pantry finished before I got really sick. I got really sick around five weeks. Come here. And I just cleaned up literally yesterday or something. So my kitchen is no longer a wreck. I still can't really cook, but again, thank God for my husband because he has been saving me. That and fast food. We're eating a lot of like Panera, Five Guys, things like that because... I have had this in every pregnancy where I have the severe food aversion, severe. Again, like I said, I've been much sicker this time around and pretty much I just fly by the seat of my pants. What sounds good? These past two days, baked potatoes have sounded good. So I've heated up a couple of baked potatoes and that's literally been my whole meal with like butter on them. I need to get back on taking my prenatal vitamins. Haven't been taking those because I haven't been able to keep things down. Maybe things will start looking up. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Let me show you the baby. So this is the baby. So you can see, again, this was at eight weeks. Um, this is my sac or uterus or whatever. This is the baby. So there's their head, their arms, arm over there too on the other side, leg, leg. And they were jumping around in there having a grand old time. Yeah.